few days ago, Visual Studio 2022 Update 17.2 was released. Let's find out what's coming to Visual Studio 2022 with the second minor version. Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm a software engineer with more than 10 years of experience with the .NET platform. On this channel, you'll learn all about .NET development. There has been an issue where people from outside the US weren't able to download and install Visual Studio using the Visual Studio installer. Meanwhile, it reportedly has been resolved. If you still have the issues, you can find more information about it in the link in the video description. You can now navigate to the implementation of a symbol within a referenced NuGet package if the package includes PDB files. Simply use Ctrl plus F12 to navigate to the implementation. When debugging collections, you had to manually click through all items if you were looking for a specific value within a specific item. With this update, Visual Studio now contains a new view that lets you view the content of a collection in a table. If you have a large collection and you want to look for specific values or need the data outside of Visual Studio, you can even export it and open it in Excel. I'm definitely going to use this feature as I often find myself debugging collections. There have been improvements in handling containers for some Azure services, including local debugging capabilities. This includes services like Redis Cache, MongoDB, RabbitMQ, Storage, SQL and Cosmos DB, all using containers. I haven't used the built-in Azure tooling so far. Let me know in the comments if you use it and how it helps your productivity. There have been various improvements in the Git tooling. Performance should have been increased for most operations. Reportedly, Git history has become a lot faster to load for repositories with a large history. I currently use Source Tree instead of the built-in Git client, but I might give it another try. The Razor editor has received further improvements, for example the ability to collapse regions, snippet support and diff wrapping. There is an additional refactoring to convert strings into raw string literals. For C++ and any other updates not covered in this video, check out the blog post from the Visual Studio team linked in the video description. The next minor update 17.3 will bring the first version of the tooling support for .NET MAUI development. If you want to look into that, you can download the Visual Studio 2022 preview version where I expect the tooling to arrive pretty soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what new Visual Studio feature is the most important for you.